Check out this word from Pastor Mike. It's going to bless your life. I ain't bother nobody but my name and everybody mouth. And I don't even go nowhere but everybody hating and dogging on me. And can I preach to somebody who in 2012 didn't teach you nothing? It taught you you could survive a slaughter. It was also the place, hear me beloved, where they burned trash. Oh, Jesus. And this part right here had me shout all up and down my office last, last night because I was reading this text and I started seeing myself in the scripture. You mean to tell me he would take me through trash to get the treasure? Help, help me, Holy Ghost. Yeah, yeah. You want to know why your life seems like you're catching more hell than usual? Lean on somebody and tell them he burning some stuff up. Yeah. Yeah, you thought your hell was about you. But your hell was only God turning the heat up so he could burn the excess garbage, trash, and fat. I might preach out of your life. Stop trying to get folk who God take away from you. Maybe God was burning. I, I might preach it here. Can, can I preach to 10 of y'all who been going through some stuff that you didn't understand? You tripping, trying to figure out what is God up to? And it's like, I ain't never caught this much hell. I ain't never been this broke. I ain't never been this frustrated. But God says, sit back and go through it. Because once I take you through trash, Ooh, help me. The text says, go to the potter shop. I'm exegetical, expository. I need my Bible to preach. Look at every word of the text. Go to the potter shop. I will speak to you there. I told you, don't, don't forget that. You bet, what did I tell you? Don't forget. Go to the potter shop. Why is the potter shop significant? Because I will speak to you. There, I can't stress the criticality of finding you're there. Ooh, everybody headed somewhere, but only a couple of y'all headed there. Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. Your prosperity is tied to your geography. Ooh, let me bag that up and give it to you again. Your prosperity is tied to your geography. Show me where you were and I can show you what you produced. Ooh, can I suggest to somebody who got some folk in your life driving you crazy if you sit back and trace where you met them? Ooh, I ain't trying to trip, but 2012, I was aimlessly going through life by happenstance. I was headed somewhere, but I really didn't know where. In 2013, I'm looking for my vet. Okay, now please don't take this the wrong way, but everybody in your life who ain't going in the direction that you're going, let the dough hit them. Uh, 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 all right, all right. I, I came to have a little church in here, and I guess I separate the dreamers from the sleepers, the favor field from the doubters right here. Because I only want to preach to ten of y'all who know without a shadow of a doubt God did not bring you this far to leave you right here. You ought to jump up and shout, "I'm headed to there." There is where God is gonna speak to me. There is where I'm gonna get my favor back. There is where I'm going to get my peace of mind. There is where my family going to be blessed. There. You, you ought to high five somebody and tell them I got a one way ticket to there baby. And if you knew how much I paid to get them out there. That's why they looking you up and down like why you shouting. Why you waving your hand. I spent last year somewhere. I spent in 2013. Ooh, I, I might preach. People, hold on Herb, I'm going to come back and get you. People can't understand why you love your church the way you love your church. They don't understand. It's not like my last church, but this church ain't really a church. This church is really my there. Ooh, I might change the name from the Rock Church to the Their Church. Y'all, y'all missed that because they don't understand. It was there that I started dreaming again. It was there that I started getting myself together. It was there that I discovered I could do bad all by myself. It was there that I started waking up getting excited about God. It was there. Talk about me all you want to, but ain't nobody worth my. Yeah. Oh, okay. 
Okay, Grandmama, God rest your soul, Ma. God, God bless you. I finally understand what she meant when she said, at the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light and the burdens of my heart rolled away. Then Grandma would stand up and say, it was there. I, I, I might preach to somebody. She, you, you don't miss it. She said it was there by faith. I want to preach to somebody who know without a shadow of a doubt, I'm headed to my death. Sit down. The text says. <laughs> hear, hear me. Hear me. The text says. The text says. Verse 3. So I did as he told me and found the potter working on his wheel. Oh, okay, okay. Jeremiah watched the potter at his wheel, which consisted of two stones, which meant, beloved, on the bottom half, he was spinning the wheel. On the top half, the clay was turning. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, 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 here, here it is, here it is. So the bottom half is turning. Top half, spinning, okay. Bottom half, okay. Top half, okay. So the first of your year, then the last part of last year started spinning. Okay, so to the outside normal eye, it looks like the potter or the clay is out of control. So, so not only do I see that, the next thing I see is controlled chaos. O okay, o okay, okay. Because somebody who's not a potter would look in the window and say, see the clay going everywhere and would say it's out of control. But there's one thing you fail to realize. While the bottom was spinning, while the, while the bottom was turning and while the top was spinning, there was one thing that kept it all under control. The potter never took. Uh, okay. Uh, his hands off of it. And I only came to preach to 10 of y'all who as your life last year was going in tornadoes and hurricanes. Up one minute, down the other. You spinning and turning, tossed through and forth. But the only reason you survive, have church with me, is because God, whoo, never took his hand off of you. Can, can I preach to somebody in here? Paycheck ain't never been enough. Friends never been consistent. Family never really had your back. Man, go and come as they please. But it's one consistent that's kept you in the midst of it all. God has kept, I might preach, his hand on me. Can I preach to somebody? What are you talking about, PMJ? I got control, chaos, and look at the text. Y'all don't like me. I got to go now. Verse 4 says, but the jaw he was making did not turn out as he had hoped. Okay, 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 okay. He's watching the pot of work. Okay, I hope you're smart enough to catch this. Y'all look bright, so you, you should catch this. So the potter is God. The clay jar is you. Oh, okay, okay, so, so watch this. He says, so what I'm working on, look at verse 4a, did not turn out as I had hoped. So not only do I see consistent dialogue, a divine distraction, controlled chaos, I also see unfulfilled potential. Ooh. And can I preach to seven of you who 2012, truth be told, as you sit here right now in this sacred space called sanctuary, you wrestling with disappointment? Yeah, you battling depression and frustration because some stuff you had planned for last year, like that clay, did not work out? The way you had hoped, folk, you planned forever with, you didn't know God tagged them with temporary? Ooh. Help me, Holy Ghost. That places you thought would always be your rock has now become your headache and you trying to figure out what went wrong. Might I suggest to you, what if God is sitting in glory looking down on us saying, I'm sort of disappointed. 
I, I put all that gift in them and they still settle. I gave them all that favor and they still didn't do nothing. I, I let them survive that relationship and they kept going back. Woo. I kept giving them checks in the mail, raises and bonuses, sales and commission, folk blessing them, yet they kept blowing it. He says, I see unfulfilled Ooh, potential. All right, I, I, I'm supposed right here uh, to kind of make you feel bad and say, yeah, what didn't you accomplish? All right, but you can either see the glass half empty or half full. Okay, okay, I see unfulfilled potential. All right, but I still see Potential, yeah, yeah, it's, woo, woo, it's 10 of y'all caught that. Yeah, yeah, and can I preach to somebody who may not accomplish what you wanna, but you still got the ability to do it if you want to? You ought to lean on somebody and tell them, don't sleep on me now, don't sleep on me. I may not look like much, but you can't see what God has put on the inside of me. I may play dumb, but I'm smarter than you think, baby. I have some potential. Look at the text. Let's roll now. I got some people to hug and two more services. Look at the text, verse 4. But the jar he was making did not turn out as he had hoped. So he crushed it into a lump of clay again and started over. Oh, okay, okay, because y'all don't get this because you think I'm tripping. I told you in the beginning that the word came to him, so we saw consistent dialogue. Then it told him, go find your there because it's going to be there that I start speaking to you. Yeah. So now I see divine direction. Then the potter has the clay in the process and if I had time to preach I would tell you don't skip a process. Maybe what you got is deformed because you skipped a step. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so he said, now I see controlled chaos. Then I'm working on the potter. Now catch this now. God is the potter. You are the clay. And the clay did not turn out as the potter has hope. That is not an indictment on the potter. It means it was something wrong with the clay. Okay, so now I see unfulfilled potential. Okay, and but in verse 4 it says, so he crushed it. Okay, there's that word again. I, I thought you were going to catch it. Again. Okay, so he says, all right, I'm going to crush you into a clump, of, a clump of clay and start over. Okay, good, good, goodbye, Rock Church, but can you do me a favor? Lean on somebody and tell them, I think I'm finna get my shout on, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that, that's the wrong neighbor. They dignified. F find somebody who got a smile like you and they look like they came to mess they hair up and, and look at them and tell them, I think I'm finna get my shout on. Because the devil wants you to focus on the fact that he crushed the clay into a lump of clay. He wants you to focus on the fact that the potter, who is God, crushed the clay, who is you, and made them start over again. He wants you to focus on the crushing because he wants you to understand that you're going to have to go through some hurt, some trials, and some tribulation. But devil, forget all that. I'd rather be crushed than thrown out. And I came to thank God that at least he didn't throw me out. He gave me, I might preach, another chance. And five of y'all, when you look back over 2012, you can say it wasn't the potter's fault. But the clay kept making some mistakes. The clay kept going some places I shouldn't have. The clay kept making some bad decisions. But lean on somebody and say, I'm thankful for another chance. Can I preach to 10 of y'all who not gonna blow this year like you blow last year? You not gonna waste time on old folk. You getting ready for some new folk. You not gonna be fussing about old drama, but you ready for God to take you into a new season? You ought to find somebody on your road who appreciates the favor that God gave them. Slap them a high five and shout another chant. Oh, I might preach it here this morning. But 10 of y'all came to church with your mind made up. Because when I look back over 2012, there were a couple places that if God didn't have his hand on me, I wouldn't be sitting here right now. How you sitting your booze, your ugly, cute self in here like you woke you up this morning? Like you clothed you in your right mind? Like you kept your family safe? You ought to shout it was nothing 
But God, I'm going to give you 10 seconds not to praise God for the question, but you ought to shout for another 10. Uh, no, no, you ought to tell somebody that was my practice shout. I may shout a little harder than you because he brought me back from a little more than you. But please don't look me up and down like I'm doing too much. You don't know my story. You don't know the nights I cried. You don't know the bills he paid. You don't know the nights he kept me. You ought to shake somebody and shout, I'm grateful. He gave me another chance. Now, now I understand what grandmama meant when she said I was sinking deep in sin. Ooh, far from the peaceful shore, very deeply stained within, seeking to rise no more. But the potter of the sea reached way down after he heard me cry. Can I suggest to you your next praise is going to make the master of the sea reach down and pull you up? As a matter of fact, forget your neighbor. You ought to high five yourself and tell him that was my last year being broke, baby. You ought to high five yourself and say that was my last year being depressed. You ought to high five yourself and say if they didn't like me last year, they gonna be sick this year. Cause God got something better with my name on it. I'm finna get out of here, I gotta go downtown. But you ought to find somebody on your road who look dead and tell them you got a reason to give them glory. Tell them you got a reason to give them praise. If God don't do nothing else for you, He's already done enough. I wonder if I got about 50 worshipers who will walk over to about five folk and say another chance, another, another, another. Uh, I gotta get out of here, I, but I feel like preaching. Pardon the interruption, but this praise break is sponsored by The Rock Church. Y'all looking at me like that. Huh? You sitting in here like he didn't wake you up this morning, like he didn't clothe you in your right mind. You ought to grab your neighbor and say, neighbor, I got another chance to be a better mother. I got another chance to be a better father. I got another chance to be a better brother. I got another chance to be a better Christian. I, I, I have not seen and either they have not heard, neither has it entered into the hearts of men. The great things he got in store for me. You ought to grab your neighbor and say, I, I got another chance. I may look the same, but I'm brand new. I may talk the same, but I'm brand new. Throw your hands up, throw your head back, and say I got another chance. Yeah, 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 yeah. Weeping may endure for the night, but yeah. Ah, John, ah, John comes in the morning like, please excuse me, but the next time I shout, it's not for 2012, cause it's dead and gone. But my next shout is for 2013, cause God got something better for me. My best is yet to come. My money's going higher. My faith's going higher. My joy is going to another level. High five your neighbor and say, oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. Yeah.